One of the things that plagues the church world today is Christian believers are running after worthless things. That truly doesn't satisfy. Our heart is so weaned away from God and our heart is looking for the world to satisfy it. As a result, there are things that we haven't dealt with, idols of our heart, fatal attractions in our heart. We have ungodly loves and unworthy pursuits. We need to come back afresh to the Word of God. We need to allow the Word of God to master our lives. See, many times our relationship with the Word of God is incidental. It is supplemental, but it's not foundational and fundamental. It is about learning how to move people from duty to delight. For many, it is just a drudgery to read the Word of God. But we need to cultivate that taste to be able to delight in the Scriptures, to be able to encounter God through the Scriptures. It is about moving people from discipline to devotion. It is not just about going through a checklist. It is not just about fulfilling a to-do task, but coming before God and having a devotion unto Christ, our King, through the living Word of God. Not only that, it is about helping to move people from head knowledge to total life transformation. The Bible says in Ezra chapter 7 and verse 10 that Ezra set his heart to study the Word. Not only to study the Word, but to do the Word and to teach the Word to others. May this be the magnificent obsession in our lives that we set our heart to study the Scriptures and to practice the Scriptures and to pass on the Scriptures to others. Don't just focus on mastering the Word of God. Let the Word of God master you.